Welcome to this look at some brilliant new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CDP. It's Wednesday, it's the 24th of August, we have got some new mods. 20 plus mods today uh, and an absolute ton of updates. The Agco Ideal by Marcus LS Modding Team, the Massive Ferguson 8S US EU Series by KRKZ Modding. The Gutlemeyer by Vertex Design, the Lizard RTM5 by Holtz FS Wagner uh, Giacomozzi, the Lizard CL42 by Holtz FS, the Selectable Bale Capacity Pack by GH66 Mods, the Old Cow Barn by Razak, the Open Air Garden by Omatana, the Square Slurry Storage by User55, Aunt Emma's Shop by LSMT Modding Team Stefan, the Flower Mill Modernized by Adub Modding ABP Team, and the All in One Production by the Lort have all had updates today. On to the mods then. We've got a lot to get through. So, in front of me we've got the old well. This is by Carl TG, 4.19 megabytes download. Five slots on console. You'll find it in the build mode and containers. It's 2,000 to buy and place. Once bought and placed, your fuel is free. As you can see, the old well by Carl TG. Next, we've got the commodity storage. This is by Missy B. Missy B modding. Uh, it's 1.47 megabytes download, six slots on console, and 15,000 to buy. You'll find it under silos. It's got a 300,000 litre capacity. It does seed, fertilizer, liquid. Fertilizer, let me just double check. Seed, fertilizer, herbicide, and liquid fertilizer. Capacity is 300,000 litres combined. So, how you mix that up between you know, your various different products in Dark you in and out, both in this hazard marked area. It's a nice build, actually. So, build mode silos. I just want to check their capacity because I'm just reading that from the thing. I don't want to get it wrong. Oh, it doesn't sound there. It says on the, on the actual uh, mod hub website, 300,000 litres. So, the commodity storage by Missy B Modding. Next, we've got the metal shed. I remember this on Hull Mercra on FS19. This style, that was by the same modder. Uh, metal shed by um, Simulator Games, 9.98 megabytes download. Uh, 20 slots on console, 10,000 to buy, which I don't think is too bad at all. The level of detail on it is amazing. you find it in the build mode and sheds. If we go in, we have got a light switch in here. I just think it's brilliant. It looks weathered, it looks old, it looks used. A bit rusty on the supports and stuff. That's really nice, that. Under build mode and sheds, the metal shed by Simulator Games. Next, we've got these. This is the grain storages pack by Matthew FS. We've got two in this pack, 8.52 megabytes download. Under silos, you'll find this one. This is 31 slots, 75,000 to buy, and it's got 100,000 litre storage. Again, another really, a lot of buildings today, actually, they really look fantastic. Um, nice bit of storage, weathered on the outside, but much cleaner inside on the inside, as you would expect. At the back, we've got a 100,000 litre storage silo, in and out, well, into there, out from the pipe above. We do have a light switch here, which turns the lights on and off. But we also have the light switch on the outside, which does the outside, ex outside the external lights. There we go. Very cool. So the first one, like I said, you'll find in a build mode and silos. And the second one, you'll find the second one you'll find in a build mode and sheds. It's exactly the same building, just doesn't have the silo inside of it. Uh, that one is 19 slots and 55,000 to buy. So 75,000, 55,000. Fair difference. So, what's that? 20,000. Probably go with the one with the silo if it was me. Anyway, same thing. Lights on the outside. Lights on the inside. But no silo on this one. So you've got open space for whatever you want to put in it, whatever you want to do with it. Cool. The grain storage is packed by Matthew FS. Moving on from there, we've got this. This is the small cow barn. This is by 750 Ti modding uh, Michael LS. 
It's 12.17 megabytes download, 23 slots on console, and cost you 20 grand. It will hold 30 cows, so for 20 grand, 30 cows, that's not too bad at all, actually. Our slurry point is here, our dialogue box for our cows is there. This rear door does open. So can, I'll put a little bit of um, bedding in there. Let's just, there we go. We go around to this end. We've got our milk point. And then our feed and our straw bedding. Now the feed trigger came up literally here, just outside. I didn't even have to open the doors. However, the straw trigger, I had to open the door and just go inside a little bit. So if you're going to do that, you're probably going to need a fairly small trailer, or at least one that doesn't tip as well, that will fit into this access point. A chowing down. Happy cows. So that's the first of them. Under build mode, animals and cows. Uh, so that's the small cow barn by 750Ti mod uh, 750Ti modding Michael LS. Next we've got this. This is just cow barn. Uh, this is by Matthew FS. 9.8 megabytes download, 24 slots on console, and 75 grand. This holds 35 cows. That one does 30, that does 35, that's 20 grand. This one's 75 grand. Nice, really different design to this one as well. This gate does open. If you want to open the gate. Just come in, do whatever you want to do. Dialogue box is just there for your 35 cows. Trigger up on here is for your feed and your bedding. So that's all up on here. This gate opens as well. The milk trigger is here. Slurry point is just around the side there. Now, neither of those, and the next one we're going to look at, need water. You will get charged water, but it automatically provides it. If you want manure for any of these, because you've put bedding in, I think these open at the back as well. Yeah, I think all three of those open at the back. Uh, then you have to place a manure heap. Uh, they don't come with manure heaps, you'd have to place one. That's pretty standard now with most cow pastures and cow pens, but it's just in case. Well, I said cow pastures, cow pens. Uh, so there we go. Under build mode, again, animals, cows. That's the uh, cow barn by Matthew FS. Then we've got the modern cow barn, also by Matthew FS. This is a bit more pricey though. It's 9.54 megabytes download, 18 slots on console. This will set you back 150,000, but it holds 150 cows. Your feed and bedding trigger is here at the front. You haven't got to go inside to do anything for that. Slurry point is just there. Dialogue box. Or buying, selling, loading, unloading. I don't think these bars move for opening. Uh, we've got a milk trigger. It's just here. So your milk point is there. And again, if you want your manure, you need to place a manure heap once you put your bedding in. Nice open design, great air circulation. I think all of them have been the same, actually. I suppose the older one, the small one, was a little bit different. Um, so there we go. Three cow barns. Um, so the last two, Matthew FS, both of them, uh, all of them under build mode, animals and cows. Next, we have got this. Now, I'm not going to show it in use um, but anyway it is the Fritzmeier crop sensor by JMZ 3.33 megabytes download nine slots on the console if you're running precision farming uh, this will give you your best application for your nitrogen your fertilizer so once installed and on your tractor with whatever fertilizer unit you're running it will give you a much more accurate application of your nitrogen this one you'll find under miscellaneous and it does have some options. You get it standard, just like that, the crop sensor. But then you can have it with a 10 Winkle FGB 600 weight, a pack 750 weight, a pack 1000, 1500, or the B2500. Back to standard again. So, a few different choices on there if you want a front weight as well, depending if you've got something on three point link mounted on the back of your vehicle um, or you're trailing, whether you want the weight or not. That's nice too. The Fritzmeier Crop Sensor by JMZ. Uh, next, we have this, and this is a representative of three balers. They are all, for all intents and purposes, identical balers. A couple of different options on them. Um, but this is the KUHN, I'm not saying it, um, Deutzfahr and Vicon Baler Pack by Arek. 13.72 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. If we go to our balers, out to the end. So they are, for all intents and purposes, the same bale. 105,000 for the base model for each. 140 horsepower required for each. 
and they will do 180 centimetre up to 240 centimetre square bales. Options on the first one, we have got Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Rangestein, back again. No options within those, just those. Decals, we've got the oldest set, an old set, and a new set of decals. Main colour, if you go for the used, it knocks 500 off the price, so it comes down to 104,500. A huge saving. Rim colour, anything on that palette. Licence plate 2, if you should choose. If we go for the Deutzwar Big Master uh, 5912D, again, same thing, but Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Vrajstein, back again. We've got the option on this one for front black detail, on or off. You don't have to have that one. Same thing, old decal or new decal. Main colour, we can go through various different ones. There's new, new ones, brighter ones. If you go for the used again, it will knock 500 off in either of those. It will knock 500 off. Rim colour, licence plate. And then with the Vicon LB1290, same thing with the tyres. Main colour, again, we scroll through the options. If you go for the used, you'll knock 500 off. Rim colour and licence plate. So, let's turn that on. Unfold. Drop that down. Turn it on. And away we go. I think I'm set on 180s, I think. I'm not going to run through all the different bale sizes on square bales. Obviously, you've got 100, 180, 220. And then, um, turn it off. And I know the bale. Yeah, 180, 220, and 240. And then you've got, obviously, different capacities for your grass your hay, your straw. And these are not wrappers or anything like that. You'd have to come back and wrap separately afterwards. But, hang on, turn off. Does the job. Square baler. 105,000 or 104,500 if you go for used paint. Lovely. Uh, that's the KUHN. Deutzfahr Vicon Baler Pack by Arek. Moving on from there. We've got this, and this is very cool. I'm going to read the thing for this as well. This is by Omatana. Uh, this is the Lizard Tardis XL. It's a forage wagon, loading wagon, from Omatana, as I've just said. 7.9 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. And it says, as a virtual farmer, haven't you longed for a loader wagon that can pick up the entire grass harvest from a medium-sized field without having to drive to the farm again and again? Then uh, the state-of-the-art Loading wagon TARDIS XL with 200,000 litre loading capacity is made for you. After years of research, the world renowned agri agricultural machinery manufacturer Lizard has succeeded in developing the Volcompress process, for which a patent is pending, with which straw, grass, and hay can be compressed in such a way that a loading wagon can carry a lot more load inside than what you can see on the outside. <laughs> it's very clever. Um, the TARDIS XL loading wagon is now available at a sensational introductory price. So the new technology can be made available worldwide. It's in a kind of TARDIS blue at the moment. Rear steer axle, as you can see, um, but it will do 200,000 litres. Now, you don't have to have the 200,000 litre option, though. If we go to our... I'm past it. Of course I have. Forage wagons. Now it's end. You can have the TARDIS M, the standard one. Uh, 52,500 to buy, and that will do 50,000 litres. So you can have the standard one. If you go for the TARDIS XL, at only 55500 That's an incredible introductory price. 200000 litre capacity. Again, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Options on them both the same. We've got Trelleborg, Michelin with a standard and wide. BKT, Fragerstein with a standard and wide. Back to Trelleborg. You can have silage additive tank on there as well. So if you want to put the silage additive in, you get 5% increase if you're doing silage work, grass work. Main colour, anything on that palette at all. Design colour does the front section and the lizard bit at the top. Rim colour, anything on that palette. And licence plate option on there too. Let's hop in, start her up. Drop her down. And away we go. I could have done with this in the Western Wilds, so I'm not going to lie. I haven't put any solid additive in. But it is cool, 200,000 litre capacity in the Lizard TARDIS XL for a phenomenal price as well. 
And so even if you want to go for the standard one, which is 50,000 litres, which is still no slouch, that's a, that's a fairly decent size for a, a loading wagon, forage wagon, it's still only about 50 grand. I mean, you, you can't odds that for a loading wagon. Anyway, there we go. Unloading. Unload here. When you get to where you're going, wherever you're unloading, that's a huge amount of straw. There we go. Fantastic. The Lizard Titus XL by Omatana. Moving on from there. We've got these. The Cavernland Stone Fork Pack. It's by John Deere 2450. 6.67 megabytes download. We've got the 180 and the 160. These are in two slightly different places. Um, both two slots. That one's 1.8 metres wide. That's 1.6 metres wide. That's got a 1,400 litre capacity. That's got a 1,100 litre capacity. Um, well, I've got to remember where they were now. One was under... What was I miscellaneous? No, it wasn't. Hang on. One was under front loaders. There we go on the end. So the, the 160 is under front loaders. As I said, a 1.6 metre, 1,100 litre capacity. We can have old style decals, new modern style decals. And then we can have main colour, original red or modern green. And then the other one is actually under rock pickers. Um, stone pickers. There we go. Stoneport 180 is there, 1,400 litre capacity, 1.8 metres wide. Same thing with the decals, old or modern, and then the option to change the tines as well. We'll use one of them. We can raise and lower automatically, or we have got the option for tilt and raise and lower manually. I have actually managed to get some stones out <laughs> for this demonstration. Oh, he says, hang on. It on oh, there we go it's a fork i didn't even think to turn it on why would i think to turn it on okay let's try that again shall we that makes more sense doesn't it just the turn on stone picker there we go nice sound effect i like that the stone's clinking into it as it goes Get a nice cultivated surface on there as well. Let's raise that just a little bit. Actually, if you raise it just a little bit, that goes at a fair old speed as well. I would say the speed of the vehicle. Yeah, that's cool. Are there any stones in there? Yeah, we've got a few stones there, look. Do I unload it? Oh, you unload it as well, look. And there we go. We got there in the end. <laughs> Made more sense as we went along. Uh, the Cavernland Stone Fork Pack by John Deere 2450. Uh, next, we've got this. This is the Lizard Container by DMI 20mm Normandy. 2.26 megabytes download, one slot on console. Uh, it's 45,000 litre capacity. You'll find it under trailers. You will need an IT runner for this though. Let's go to there. So an either an IT runner lorry or an IT runner trailer. The brilliant thing about this is, it's an old one. It does say in the description, it's pretty beat up, but it has been resprayed. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. The doors do open, so you can use it for putting vehicles in, logs in. If you close the doors, 45,000 litre capacity, but it only costs 3,500. If you change the colour, 4,500. For a 45,000 litre, that's pretty impressive. You are going to need the IT, IT runner base or a vehicle to use it, but at 3,500, that's pretty cool. So... What we'll do is jump in here, start that up. We'll hook up to it, then switch to it. If we should have the option to unfold container. So if you do that, you can drive things inside it. I don't think it's got straps though. We can put logs in, whatever you want to do, and then we can fold the container back up again. So we pick up our container, and off we go. 45,000 litre capacity, or whatever else you put in it. Happy days all day long. That's actually pretty cool, I like that. There we go. 
That's the Lizard container by DMI 20mm Normandy. Cool. Next, we've got this. This is the Gravity Wad... Gravity Wadden? The Gravity Wagon. Uh, this is 1.59 megabytes to download. Three slots on console. It's by A-Dub Modding. Uh, Stoneway Designs ABP Team. 14,000 litre capacity. I already said that, didn't I? Um, you'll find this also under trailers. So I've got my notes are ridiculous today because so many mods. Uh, where are we? There we go. Gravity Wagon. It's only 11 grand. We can have Lizard, Trelleborg, Michelin, and back again. Uh, the Trelleborgs do have a standard and a wide. The other two don't. Uh, we can change the main colour. Is anything on that palette? Room colour. Is anything on that palette? And licence plate option on there as well. It does have a rear trailer hitch, so you can daisy chain these together if you want to. We have got corner at the moment. Goes really well, actually. Not a bad price for a 14,000 litre trailer. Swivel axle at the front, as you can see. Unload here. There's no um, option for grain door or anything like that. It is what it is. It unloads the side there. One side only. But very nicely made. Does the job. The Gravity Wagon by ADAB Modding. Stoneway Design ABP Team. Uh, moving on from there. We have this. This is the Lizard TGA 2200 by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir. 7.04 megabytes download. Six slots on console. 2.2 metre wide mulcher. You can use it between your vines if you want to, or on the ground, or say on the ground. It's going to be on the ground, not in the sky, obviously, but you know what I mean. Um, just regularly on a field, or you can use it uh, between rows if you're doing olives or grapes and things like that, providing you've given yourself enough space to do so. You will find it under mulchers, 6,288. Not overly expensive, I'm just going to look at the smaller ones there. That's a 2.2. Yeah, a little bit cheaper than TMC can sell of the same width. No options available, you get it just like that. Start it up. It's hard to tell, but we are, we are removing the stubble. It is coming away. There we go. Fantastic. Lizard TJ2200 by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding. Sir, next we've got the Unia Cos. This is under Cultivators, 5.91 megabytes download. It's got a few different options on this one as well. Um, it is four slots, 2.1, well, you've got the option of 2.1 metre, 2.6 metre, don't panic people, 3 metre. We have a 3 metre option on this as well. This by Jeff C. Rolnik 410 and Farmer LS. You'll find it under Cultivators. Out in the end there, 10 grand. Only 80 horsepower required. As I said, we can have a 2.1 metre, 2.6 metre or 3 metre. Standard design or non-stop. You can have coulters on there, yes or no, like the duck foot, goose foot coulters. Stickers one, two, three, back to one again. Those are your choices, no colour options on that. We drop it down. And away we go. Now you would be getting stones coming up. It's not a shallow cultivator. I thought it might see those. Oh, there we go. You can see the springs moving every now and again. If you hit something a bit solid, the springs will give a little bit so you don't break the quarters or your tines. Lovely. Only a cost by Kajef C. Rolnik for 10 Farm LS. Sorry, I knew I was going to get that wrong as soon as I started to say it. Uh, next, we've got the Unia Grudziag, Grudziad's pack. I'm having trouble today. 9.34 megabytes download. This is by Hashtal Mods. So come to that. Let's have a look. Got that and that. This is intriguing. It's not very big. Small farm stuff. Um... So, the first you'll find under ploughs, if we go to the end, so we've got the Grudziad's uh, U0211 or the U0231. That one's 0 0.6 metres wide, that's 0 0.9 metres wide, so not huge. 20 horsepower required, 40 horsepower required. Options on them, we've got shearer, so that adds it on there, so when you're 
turning the soil over, it kind of pushes that off of the blade, stops it hanging on there. Spike handle, yes or no, that will become more relevant in a moment. Then we've got main colour, does the framework, design colour, does everything else, like so. Now, we come out of there and go down to miscellaneous, and right up to the very end on miscellaneous, we've got that, the Unia Spike. That's 0 0.7 metres wide. And we can change the main colour on that to the on that palette like that. So, uh, the slot counts on these are threes for the ploughs and two for the spike. So what we'll do is on this, if you've got the arm on there, if you've gone for it, unfold plough, moves that out, puts a little attach on there. We back up, we should get the option to hook that up. So that hooks up the spike. Now what we do is we drop our plough down, onto that, drop our plough down, and we do our first furrow. It may not be straight, we'll see how we go. And that thing bounces along kind of next to us. As you can see, it's cultivating a little bit, shallow cultivating. But what will happen is, when you lift the plough and turn, on each turn, on the run back, when you do your next furrow, it then goes over what you've already done, that little spike, and cultivates what you've just ploughed. So it kind of bounces along next to it, cultivating what you've just done, Now the only downside I can see, because this plough doesn't um, rotate. Oh hang on, rotate crane to right. Oh, that's just moving it side to side isn't it? We can move it that way a little bit. Open crane saw. So we can adjust our depth and stuff on this if we want to. So we've got a little bit of minute adjustment, finite adjustment. But we can't f turn the plough. So the problem I've got is, if I now turn round and come back the other way this side, this is on the outside now, so it's not going to do anything. But I suppose when I come back down the other way it probably will. I suppose if I did looping ploughing it would work, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, so I'm on the outside again, but then coming back, it's just whether it will leave gaps or not. But you see the kind of what it's supposed to do. Kind of makes sense. And there we go. The Unia Grudziad's pack by Hashtal Mods. Uh, moving on from there, we have this. This is the Tekla Z2741. This is by Hashtal and EE. 4.53 megabytes download, four slots on console. This is a bale wrapper, very compact design. You do have to put bales onto this though, um, so it runs off the back of a three-point link. Or if you've got a machine, I don't think we've got anything modded that does that at the moment. I'm trying to think, maybe we have. Um, but you'll find it under bale wrappers. There we go. Four grand, that's what it costs. So if you want to do bale wrapping on the cheap, and just round bales though. We've got stickers one or two. Then it says attacher, one attacher joint or two attacher joints. I didn't see anything change on there. But it says it's got one or two. Foil colour, any one of those. I think I went for blue. Main colour, does the framework. And then design colour does the roller on the outside there. So you can have it white, ivory or grey. Those are your choices. Start this up. Hook it up. So what we do is unfold bale wrapper. Swings it round. Lower bale wrapper. Engines run on the tractor. That's now good to go. I can have automatic drop turned on or off. I think I put it on at the moment. So what should happen, <laughs> please work, is start that, let's grab a bale. Once it starts to take it, I can disconnect. Now I will say this, it does take a little while. It does roll it, it does rotate it, it does the wrap, but it takes a little while. It seems to be when it's completely done, it keeps going, which it would do in real life because I want to make sure you get a few layers of wrap on there. Then with automatic drop turned off, that will off the back of it. Usually these would be kept in one place and the bales will be brought to it. You could drive it around the field and then move your vehicle around and load onto it. There you go, it does its automatic drop. Drops back down again, I can move my bale out of the way and bring another one in. This sort of thing you would use if you're doing multiplayer and you're, there's a team of you running a field and you've got you know one person operating or that set, one person bringing bales, one person taking bales away, loading, stacking, whatever it is you're doing, one person bailing, it would work really well. So it's very cool. Uh, the uh, Tekla Z2741 by Hashtal and EE. 
turn these off on that. Next, we've got this, the Fent 700-800 Vario TMS by Musagra and Lexic Design. 2 point, uh, sorry, 2 point, 28.5 megabytes download, 26 slots on console. I really do like this a lot. This is kind of an updated version of the one I had on various different farms on FS19. I love the petrol blue. It's very cool. It's a nicely made mod. Now it's got quite a few options, so bear with me on this one. I'll try and get through them as quickly as possible. This is found under medium tractors. There we go. 107,000 for the base model. We've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitis, BKT, Vredstein, Nokian. Nokian has these options, your standard, standard, two, and communal. All of the others have, as far as I can tell, the same options. There might be one that doesn't. But if we go through them on Trelleborg, I think pretty much as I went through, all of them have got the same options, just in the different tyre tread patterns, including the narrows. Sometimes you go through and they don't. Think, was there one? No, BKT. No, they are. I think they've all got the same options. Yeah, then we're on to Nokia and back to Trelleborg. Now, exhaust cover we got original chrome exhaust, and then we got on the front there. Now, this seems to be on the front, although when we change some of the options later on, you'll see the exhaust cover, so it's a bit puzzling. It's all in the same thing. So, original, chrome exhaust, design line, original. I went for the design line, which you'll see as we go through. Front parts, no. Spring holder on the front, or hood guard. Hood detail, yes or no, just takes a little bit off the grill there, on or off. Beacon lights, we've got left design one, right design one, left to right design one, design two, left, right, both, or off. We have a steering knob on there, on the steering wheel if you want one. Carpet, yes or no. Attaches, no front hydraulic, front hydraulic, front hydraulic with PTO. Front of attacher, quick Hauer Fent or off. Engine setup, we've got 115 horsepower, 120, 140, 160. Um, that's under the 7, up to 716 Vario. Then we move on to the 8. 150 horsepower, 170 horsepower, 185 horsepower. Then we move on to the 7 series Vario TMS. 120, 140, 165, 180. 192, 112. Hang on, that moved from the 7 to the 8. Right, so up to 180 was on the 7 series TMS. Then we move to the 8 series. 192 horsepower and 212 horsepower. So the maximum you can go to. And you'll see if we go for those large ones, we've got the chrome exhaust on there. If we go back through those, the TMS has the chrome exhaust. That's where that comes in. Um, don't worry about the Pro Compact. That's only if you've got precision farming running. That adds the, the sensors on. That does that with all tractors if you've got um, precision farming on. Main colour, anything on that palette. I went for the petrol blue, but there's a whole load to choose from. Um, and then the design colour will do, if you've got those bits in the front, we'll change the colour of those as well. Rim colour, any one of those. Licence plate option as well. So, let's start her up. It does sound great too. Beacons. Lights. I like the sound of this. There's a lovely bit of roll to this as well as it's moving. It looks great and sounds great. Now, under L1, right stick side to side, uh, does the rear window, up and down does the front window, so we can have those open and close. R1, doesn't do anything, L1, R1, left stick side to side, does the sunroof, right stick side to side, does the left door, right stick up and down, does the other door. So we've got doors and windows, Interior. We haven't got a uh, change drive in position, have we? I thought I'd better check that. There we go. The Fence 700-800 Vario TMS 
by Muzagra and Lexic Design. Next, we've got this. This is the New Holland CX8 series by Tark C007. 28.21 megabytes download, 22 slots on console. You'll find it under Harvesters. Out on the end there, 240 grand for the base model. So we can have the CX8.7, which has got a 9,500 litre tank. The 8.8, .8, which has got 11,500 litre tank. Or the 8.9, which has a 12,500. If you go for 12,500, that's added on an extra 82 grand. However, there's crawler tracks down there which have all automatically on, and that adds 20 grand on. We'll see that in a moment. So we've got Will Brand, Michelin, Trelleborg, Mitus, Continental, BKT, Vregestein, Lizard. Just puts wheels on. So that takes that 20 grand back off again. Back to Michelin. So we've got a crawler track, standard, wide, back again. Trelleborg. Again, I'm not going to read them all out, but crawler track. Mitus, Continental, BKT, Bredestein, Lizard, we've already seen, back to Michelin. Then we've got model year, the 2021 version or 2001 to 2020. So you have the older spec, older version, slightly different design on that as well. Licence plate option on it too. This also sounds brilliant. Unfold harvester. Beacons. Lights. Pipe out. It has a light on the pipe, not facing out towards the pipe, which is rather nice for nighttime operations, nocturnal working. Listen to that. We do also have under L1, R1, right stick side to side, opens and closes the door. Interior. Sounds cool inside as well. There we go. Very nice. The New Holland CX-8 series by Tarxy007. Next, we've got this. This is the John Deere 959MH by North Modding Company. 18.33 megabytes download, 13 slots on console. This thing goes up to 30 meter cuts. So if you want to do full trees, just strip them and put them to one side. This is the fellow to use. It's awesome I, th I think we, we did have this didn't we on fs19 but it just looks better i don't know why um you'll find it under vehicles and forestry machines out in the end 470 grand 330 horsepower now 470 grand is for the base model that's the 953 which is a little bit smaller then we've got the 959 difference between the 953 and the 959 on the 959 we've got the ability to adjust the angle of the actual main crane unit independent of the tracks so if you're doing hillside work you can level the whole cab up whereas the 953 one doesn't have the option to do that if you look underneath there it's just got the rotation whereas that one um, has all the various different hydraulics and things required for tilt we can have the waratah header or a john deere header that of course is entirely your choice um, only runs at six miles an hour so if we start it up Ripens and closes. This is another one, sounds fantastic. L1, right stick up and down, does that side to side, gives us our rotation. R1, right stick up and down. There's no in and out on the boom, that just sort of up and down. L1, R1, we can rotate the crane head side to side, but with our left stick, we can tilt the head as well. So if you want to pick up stuff off the ground, you can. You can open and close it yourself, but once you turn it on, it will open and close itself. And I said cut length, we can go all the way up to 30 metre cut lengths. Let's go up to, let's do it, let's go up to 30. Let's cut something. Uh, other thing as well, what I was saying, if we change control group from crane to levelling, L1 and right stick side to side. It's like the old hydraulically mounted cars, isn't it, when they do the, the car shows. Isn't it? 
So we've got a bit of movement there and there. So if you are on a steep hillside, you need to tilt it whichever direction you can. Which is brilliant. Let's try and level that as best I can. I do go back to crane operations. So let's grab ourselves a tree, tilt the head. No, control the crane there, go tilt the head a little bit. Now obviously, if you're doing a lot of trees, you can sit in the middle, rotate the whole thing around, it's a little bit different to a normal one. Cut. Hang on, I changed that. Oh, did I go way past it? I think, hang on a minute, I'm supposed to do the whole tree. There we go. That's cool. Strip the whole tree, and then you can pile them all up and then decide what you want to do with them afterwards, or you can, yeah. Like I say, cut it to any cut length you want. That's really cool. You probably want to go transport it. You're probably going to want to. You'll probably want to transport it by a low loader. That being said, the track width isn't too wide. So um, getting onto a low loader shouldn't be too difficult. If you do have trouble, you can actually put it on the low loader that way. Imagine the low loader in that direction. Put it on sideways. I've done that before. That works. Uh, interior. Nice and tidy. You can see out. Cut length. That's weird, let's change a little bit. Hmm. Anyway. So it's just that or that for your camera angles, nothing on the crane head. So, awesome. The John Deere 959MH, but this also brings into uh, what we're going to do now is the last of the mods for today. And it's, well, it's, yeah, it's this, although it's two components. Where have you been all my life? Since I started logging in the game and we had the Gens HEM with that silly little, I, I, I set, did all sorts of setups over various different Let's Plays, trying to put things there so you could rest logs on and do all sorts of things. This one comes with a conveyor which does that. Absolutely brilliant. So this is the HEM583Z plus CBT5 by Landmensch. 9.8 megabytes download, five slots on console for the wood chipper and three slots for this. If we go into our equipment, if we go to belt systems, that's where you find the belt. Now it only attaches to this. I don't think you'll be able to get it to work on its own. We've got the option of Trelleborg, Continental for tyre choices. Um, we've got standard, boxes, spare wheel, all, bumper protection, protection and boxes, protection and spare wheel or all. Ball hitch or with clutch, which is basically a pin hitch, whichever one you'd rather go for. Main colour, anything on that palette. Design colour, grey or silver. Licence play option. So that's for the belt se se section. Up to forestry and across uh, to there, we've got the HM583Z without a crane. So if you don't like using cranes, you want to load it with, with other things, whatever you want to do, you don't have to have the pesky crane. It, it comes without it, which is lovely. Again, Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Radestein, Nokian, and back again, nothing within those options. Air hoses, we can have black or Coloured air hoses with yellow and red on there as well. Attaches, standard, with clutch, all clutches. That's on the back. Um, so you can tow the stuff with it. I went for all clutches so you can cover the other eventualities. Parking supports, parking, so park and work supports. That one is what I went with, which leaves the support for you working as well. Main colour, anything on that palette. And a licence plate option. So... When you arrive at your destination with your vehicle and your conveyor belt in tow, what I am going to do is put my belt about there. I might have to, uh, you want your belt perpendicular, obviously, to the rest of the machine. So I'm going to detach my belt. Then we're going to swing this round. And line this up. And then we're going to attach it. Hopefully, if we get that come up. 
a little bit closer. Okay, we're not working. Do I Tom Ford first? Maybe I do. There we go. Attach the belt. Okay, that's not supposed to do that. Right, now attach it. There we go. Once you're in position, attach it. So, we've unfolded it. Pipe out. We have got beacons on there. What I will do is just detach that for a second. So it's got supports and a work support. So I'm grab the trailer, make sure that's in position. Uh, what would be cool is having that one of those conveyor belts that can just you can just line up against anything and put logs and stuff on. Wouldn't it be cool to have fun like we used to for bales as well? Just saying, just putting it out there in case anyone wants to. <laughs> so hook back up. So it raises one of the supports, but it does leave one of the legs down. That just seems to be bouncing a little bit. Let's bring that up out of the way. So I'm doing that off the back of the tractor, though. I don't know we'll be doing that. Let's put it about there. Right, turn on wood chipper. So as you can see, the wood chipper's rolling, the belt on the wood chipper's rolling, and the belt on the conveyor's rolling. Now we see if this works, because I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> I thought I would wait until I'm doing this. That always works well when I'm doing that kind of thing. So let's put a log on there. This is a seven meter log, which fits on here pretty much perfectly. So you could run out to eights, possibly a little bit longer if you wanted to, but this will take a seven meter log. Please work. <laughs> oh, it makes me smile. It makes me so happy. Wanted one of these for so long. If you don't like logging, it's not going to be, it's not make any difference to you, you're not going to be happy at all, it's not going to make any difference, but um, for me, oh, that's just fantastic. I'll do another one now. Anyway, that's it for the mods for today. There is a new map out today. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get onto it, probably tomorrow morning now. It is uh, Gemeinde Talbau by Yogi. It is 124.54 megabytes to download. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.